It has come to light that at least one life has been lost following the fire that devastated about 14 properties in Palabora. This is one of the properties which is a business site, the Elegance Guest House, that was reduced to ashes on Saturday after a failed fire caught up with this uh, property. It is part of 14, 13 of which were homesteads where families have now been displaced because they've lost literally everything from their food and clothing. But to speak more about efforts to assist these families and this business property, I'm joined by the chairperson of the CPF here in Palabora, Mr. Anton Kellerman. Uh, Anton, thank you so much for speaking to us. First of all, we're at Elegance here. It was such a horrific sight on Saturday. We saw this being engulfed in fire. But we have now learned that somebody has uh, lost his life. Tell us more. Who is this person and how did they come to leave after being, part, uh, uh, being a victim of this fire? Thank you very much. Yes, um, uh, Mr. Alex Osmer, he stayed in one of the houses. He's the owner of one of the houses that uh, was engulfed and destroyed by these fires. Um, and uh, yesterday morning we were informed that he was suffering from a heart condition for a couple of, couple of months already. And yesterday morning he complained of chest pains and he was taken to hospital. And last night we were informed that he unfortunately passed away. Um, so that is adding an extra sadness to our community um, because he was a pillar in this community as well. Um, so for yeah, for his wife and his family to lose a house and a father in one weekend, I think that is very devastating. Yeah, the family must be devastated. How big was their property? How are they coping losing their, you know, the head of the family in addition to losing their property? Well, um, we are trying to make contact to his wife um, so that we can see in which way we can assist them. Um, but we will definitely be of assistance to them. Uh, as far as I know, they were having a four-bedroom house and they literally lost everything. Everything burned down. They were left with the clothes on their bodies. That's devastating. Let's talk about, we've been to the church where we've seen volunteers. People are donating. Let's talk about efforts to assist not just his family, Alex, Mr. Alex's family, but other families that are in the same condition, but also employees of this massive property. What sort of, uh, I understand community members have come in together to assist. Take us through those uh, efforts. Yes, thank you. Um, I must say the, the Bapala Borva community, the greater community, um, as far as Hootspray, Zanin, uh, I cannot even name all of them. The people have come together and they've donated so much food and clothing and linen. Um, so yesterday we gave out food parcels to all the f affected families. Um, and we are humbly asking if there's any other affected families to please make contact with us um, so that we can assist in any which way we can. Um, the volunteers are exceptional. Uh, the whole Bapala Borva community, as far as Makushani, Namakali, Lulukani, all those people are coming together, assisting us. If we put out a call for help, you'll find people just pitching up and say, I, I, here's my hands, use my hands wherever needed. Um, so it's, it's great, it's amazing. Uh, food donations is coming in from everywhere. Um, so we are really blessed by all the South Africans assisting.